drastic measures to stop Asian carp from reaching Lake Michigan netted more media attention than fish this week in what's become a very long and expensive fish tale. 2,000 tons of poison were dumped over six miles of Chicago's sanitary and ship canal. Government agencies hyped the measure as yet another battle in the war to keep voracious fish from reaching Lake Michigan. And I can sum up uh, my comments in six words. It's time to man the barricades. For nearly 10 years, we've watched as two species of introduced Asian carp, and those are the big head carp and the silver carp, have moved up the Mississippi River and up the Illinois Rivers, and now they're here. They're now at the gates to the Great Lakes. And our action over the next several days is designed to protect those gates. Asian carp have become the ultimate aquatic enemy. They eat plankton, the base of the food chain, in huge amounts. And they already have a reputation for overtaking entire ecosystems and for destroying the fishing industry. Well, we've seen what the potential of this one particular invasive species is. Um, on the Mississippi and Illinois River, there are places where it, it forms, you know, uh, up to 90 percent of the total fish mass, fish biomass. And so we look at that potential here, and we, we believe it's not, it, it, it's something that we can't take the risk. Dan Thomas stands by for a body count. He's been president of the Great Lakes Sport Fishing Council for nearly 20 years and has seen what invasive species can do. The quality of our fishery has declined. Our fish are not quite as robust as they used to be. They're not as big as they used to be. Um, our, our, our natural resources have been compromised by the introduction of invasive species. That's why he doesn't mind the one to two million dollar price tag on this week's operation. I think it's unprecedented, uh, extreme possibly, uh, but, but necessary, very definitely. It's protecting an ever larger investment, a $7 billion economy of a sport and commercial fishery. The Army Corps of Engineers has already spent $15 million on fish barriers. The barriers are electric and underwater and therefore need routine maintenance. And while they're offline this week, the plan is to kill all the fish in the area, just to keep one species out. The treatment of the canal near the barrier with a toxicant called rotenone is the safest, most effective option to prevent Asian carp from moving through the barrier during the maintenance phase of the project. More than 350 government employees from five different agencies were expecting to bring in 200,000 pounds of dead fish, and the media took the bait. In the end, there wasn't much to see. We've been at the canal now for several hours, but haven't seen signs of any dead Asian carp. But this may not be such a bad thing. To be a little facetious, no news is good news. So the fact that we didn't find them, the fact that they have not surfaced yet is good news. Insofar as they're not as close as we might have originally thought. And that's why Thomas isn't complaining that the media didn't get their field day. Oh, we would have liked to have seen big boatloads of fish coming in so that we can do a photo opportunity and it would look good in the press, it would look good uh, on our website. Uh, but we can do without that. I mean, if we don't have the notoriety that might have existed under those conditions, we, we can do without that. It's possible more dead fish could surface over the next few days. But so far, there's only been one Asian carp casualty in this tale. This is Amy Enchelmeyer for Medill Reports.